Hello everybody. I've wanted to do a uh, workshop video for some time now. Kind of give you a tour of it and uh, kind of look around and kind of give you an idea of what I do. A spare time when I'm not working. I'm still here making money. Still uh, trying to be as productive as I can. And when I'm not in the garden, I'm in that shop doing things. But let's look around and see what's uh, going on in there. This is my man cave. I guess a bit of history uh, before I start the tour in here. The house that I tore down here on this property that we bought a couple of years ago, the wood that came out of that house came out of an old army base just uh, west of us in a, a town that uh, had an army base over there for World War II. They were training the soldiers over there and I can go in more detail but I won't on this video. Uh, what you're seeing there is the camp insignia of Camp House. And uh, I got a lot of really cool signs that were on the inside walls of this house when I was tearing it down. So as I started tearing that house down, I started coming out here in the shop and I started using that lumber and doing things. And uh, I think kind of created a pretty cool place out here. Starting this corner right here, the cabinet here was the pantry out of that old house. And I built these doors out of that old lumber. And I guess if you can look, I've got some jars stored in there, some paint up top and all. Some more can of supplies and all down there. This area here in my shop, uh, I've got a little bench here. Uh, this is kind of my little hobby station. I've got kind of a uh, passion for building model airplanes and all. And uh, this is kind of where I do it. When I have time, I can come out here and I can sit and kind of relax and get my mind off the world's problems for just a few minutes. But uh, you can kind of see a couple of projects I've got sitting up there going on. There above the hobby area, I've got a, a United States map. What you see dotted on there is uh, pins. I started an eBay business here uh, about 10 years ago, I guess, 10, 15 years ago, and uh, started selling uh, a bob wire display. And I do a variety of them. Uh, that's one way I make ends meet here in my neck of the woods. And when I'm not, you know, working outside my home, I'm here in my shop and, and I'm building these things, putting them online. But uh, I've sold a bunch of them. Started pinning this map uh, when I started selling them back uh, years ago. And now it's just got to be something fun me and uh, the girls do. Uh, they'll come out here with me and we'll uh, pin it when I sell a new one. It's kind of exciting. Here I've got a bookshelf. I've got some books that I use uh, with my eBay business. I've got some uh, magazines up there that I like to kick back out here sometimes and uh, read. Uh, Mother Earth News is my all-time favorite magazine. I've got issues dating back to the 70s and really enjoy reading those. Uh, Bible's one of the important books that I enjoy reading. I think there's a lot of wisdom in there and uh, uh, things I can apply to my life. Just a quick example of uh, one of the things I was talking about that I do on eBay. I sell these bob wire displays and uh, I've got probably golly hundred plus wires, uh, different kind of wires. I've got uh, some stored around my property in rows and I've got a lot in here cut up in uh, filing cabinets and all.
this is looking back towards my window. I've got a few tools stored and then just some few decorations I guess around and uh, my clock that I got at Tractor Supply a couple of years ago. Clearance rack, I was kind of proud of that. I've got an island here in my shop. A lot of work gets done on that as well. Uh, me and my son got out here and built that island one morning. It was 30 something degrees outside and it was to me it seemed colder in this shop and that was before I realized how to heat this shop. We're kind of proud of that. Another area here that I use a lot, uh, not as much as my workbench, but I have some things there, drill press and all that I use uh, quite a bit. A lot of the brackets here I've uh, hand built just using some scrap wood kind of custom fit some of my tools. This area of the shop, I got a welder over there. I can pull that uh, little workbench out, the metal workbench, and uh, weld on it. And it uh, works pretty good for uh, doing some small projects and all. This area of the shop here makes mama happy. She can come out here and sit when I'm out here late in the evenings working on stuff. She can sit on that bench there and uh, keep an eye on me, make sure I'm not out here doing anything I'm not supposed to. <laughs> that dartboard I built a couple of years ago and we've had a lot of fun out here, especially in the winter. Come out here and get this shop toasty and uh, enjoy some darts between the family members. I'm the bullseye king though. I talked about bob wire before. Uh, I've got bob wire stuff in every drawer and, and cranny and whatever I can get it in in, in this shop. Uh, cuts of it. And like I say, I've got rows of it out in the yard hanging on buildings and all that uh, I've collected for probably 20 years now. I started back uh, 20 something years ago collecting bob wire and I've built plaques out of it. Uh, you see some boards over there to the right that. Uh, I tack this, this wire on and sell it on eBay. It's a pretty good little business for me. Uh, as far as the bob wire goes, I've just got it uh, categorized by name, organized in by the type. This one here is a uh, McNeil's H plate. Here above all that I've got all my gun cleaning stuff. I can bring a gun out here and clean it up and uh, get it ready for the next use and all. A couple of months ago I ran uh, the means to have a TV out here in my shop. Uh, not a big TV person but uh, if something was going on that I needed to keep up with news wise or whatever I can uh, turn the TV on there and kind of keep up with what's going on. Uh, my favorite part out here is radio. I love listening to the radio. Just kind of old-fashioned, I guess, in that sense. The ceiling, I've just used uh, scrap pieces out of that old house. And you can see uh, there's quite a few signs up in there. It 
come off that old army base. Well, I'm not going to tell you how long it took me to get that bullseye, but really not very long. <laughs> I lucked out on that one, I think. But basically, guys, that's my shop. Uh, showed it a, several videos I've had. I've showed my shop and all, and uh, just kind of want to give people a idea of what I'm working with here. And uh, have, you know, I'm proud of it. Uh, we've done it on very little money, and. Uh, I think we do good for what we do. I think we do real good. But I hope you enjoyed the tour, and uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you all later.